Support for the Nature Museum is provided by Rose Pest Solutions, protecting homes, businesses, health, and the environment since 1860. Hi everyone, welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Alan, and today we're gonna to learn about the life cycles of darkling beetles. Darkling beetles are great model organisms to observe and handle up close, so let me show you who I have here with me. Darkling beetles are a really large family of beetles, um, so that means there are many different species of them. There are about 1,200 species that occur in North America alone, and almost 20,000 species of darkling beetles that occur worldwide. Darkling beetles live outside on the ground. They can often be found under rocks, in rotting logs, around fungus. They like to eat fallen plant material on the ground, whether fresh or rotting, so they tend to be scavengers. So they're really good at recycling nutrients in our ecosystem. So we have beetles here at the Nature Museum. We have two species. One is called a superworm. The other is called a mealworm. And why do we have these beetles at the museum? Well, one, we have them so that we can use them in workshops and teach people about them. But we also have these beetles primarily because they're a great food source for a number of our animals we keep at the museum, especially our turtles. Darkling beetles go through what's called complete metamorphosis, which means they have a complete change in their body shape. So an insect that goes through complete metamorphosis has four life stages. They start out as an egg. That egg hatches into a larva. Eventually, that larva will turn into a pupa. And then after the pupa is when you get the adult stage. The cool thing about complete metamorphosis is that those larvae look completely different from the adults. And that allows larvae and adults to either live in completely different environments or eat completely different food, which reduces competition between the two. So there are other kinds of metamorphosis and darkling beetles aren't the only insects that go through complete metamorphosis. Um, a number of the most diverse group of insects go through complete metamorphosis like butterflies and moths, ants, bees and wasps, and flies as well. Because insects are such diverse animals, they are really great organisms to study. Like I said earlier, there are 1,200 species of darkling beetles in North America alone. That's 1,200 different stories on how they've solved all of life's problems to survive in their environments. All right, that's our show for today, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned something about our darkling beetles. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. We'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.